Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video where today I am going to be breaking down the Timeless Children trailer, the trailer for the finale for Series 12, which certainly gave us a lot of hints, a lot to think about, a lot to discuss. Um, probably the best trailer they've done all series for an episode, certainly the best one since the actual trailers for the whole the series as a whole, because generally the promotion and marketing has been pretty awful. But for once we've got a really, really good one and there's loads of really, really exciting things, so I'm going to give a, try to have a breakdown and analysis and see what we can learn. So let's not waste any time and let's get stuck in straight with the first shot from the trailer. This this first um, opening shot shows Jodie looking rather unhappy about life, should we say? Um, I sense this is going to be an episode where the Doctor doesn't come out particularly happy by the end of it, shall we say. It just You just get the impression that a lot of bad stuff's going to happen and she's going to have to try to deal with that and take that on, so it's going to really take a toll on her, I think, in this episode. Um, and then we move on to number two, which shows, um, it, well, it looks like just Gallifrey through the boundary, basically what we saw um, at the end of Ascension of the Cybermen. Not really anything new or particularly significant there, just, yes, there is destroyed Gallifrey through the boundary. So after that one, we get some very, very intriguing shots, um, which... I think appear to be from maybe a flashback sequence of some sort, just with the way the transition's done. Um, I think that's a possibility. So let's look at this first one here, which is actually kind of like midway between two shots, I think. Um, and in the background, if you look at it, you can see those windows, and they look very much like the windows of the police office where um, Brendan was sort of um, had his interview for joining the police. Um, we saw that, and then it looks like we've, we're transitioning from that scene into a shot, probably a flashback related to Gallifrey. So that certainly suggests there that the, the whole Brendan storyline is related to Gallifrey and the Timeless Child and all of that as well, I think it's fair to say. Then this next shot shows us in some sort of room on Gallifrey. We have a, what looks like Commander Gat in the middle there, which is quite interesting given that she died in um, Fugitive of the Jadoon. Um, presumably this is a flashback. I also think looking at the left and the right hand side of the shot, you can see what looks like the Doctor and what is probably the Master on the right hand side, kind of like watching the flashback together with us as the um, as the audience. Um, I don't know who these two other people are here, but it certainly looks like this is maybe the early Gallifrey, sort of beginning of Gallifrey or something along those lines possibly, and is how we're going to start to explain around the origins of Gallifrey and the Time Lords and all of that, which I think we're really going to tackle heavily in this episode. Um, and that also continues into this next shot, which shows um, a Time Lord with a classic Time Lord sort of um, headpiece that they've got going on there. In At least in the lighting, looks like a yellow outfit, but I also think could potentially be a white outfit for the president of um, Gallifrey, um, who always used to wear the, the great white robes, which I feel like without the lighting is what that would probably be as well. So I think the first thing to say about all of this is it looks like we're going to get some actually serious major Gallifrey action, some flashback of the past of Gallifrey, some current setting Gallifrey, like we are really going big and full in on a Gallifrey story for probably the pretty much the first time in New Who properly, apart from 10 minutes of Hellbent, which was about the extent of it. So I am really, really excited for that. From there, we get another one of those flashback shots from what we assume is the Timeless Child um, that we saw in The End of Smyfall Part 2. We also saw briefly in Can You Hear Me as well, this, this child who's in some bizarre, mysterious location. Um, that we still don't know really anything about, but we kind of assume she might be the Timeless Child or something along those lines, I guess. I think the intriguing thing that we kind of learned after the last episode is what appears to be up in the sky above this person is what looks like the boundary. Um, maybe we're just getting the, it wrong and it's, it isn't quite the same, but it certainly looked and appeared to be similar looking, similar colouring to the boundary. So could it be that they go through the boundary to be able to find this Timeless Child? I don't know. If it is the Timeless Child, of course that is. Um, and then this intriguing next shot shows the Master putting his hand out. Presumably this is just to the Doctor because it looks like he's still standing in front of the boundary presumably he's putting his hand out to her saying come on in and I'm going to show you and explain everything and it's it's going to hurt and all that but you're going to find out everything is probably where this is going with this shot. The fascinating shots with this trailer just keep on coming as we get well a lovely great big um, shot of it destroyed Gallifrey um, which well looks amazing in a, in a way because we're actually seeing Gallifrey in such a way but also so sad to see it completely destroyed and ruined and I hope we learn a lot more about how that happened from the master assuming he did actually do it maybe he used the Cybermen I don't know but I'll be very intrigued to find out more about that and then also this shot showing what looks like the Doctor on presumably the ruined Gallifrey so we really are going to get some present time set on Gallifrey on the on the plains, sand plains of Gallifrey, we're going to get both the Doctor and Master there, which is really, really exciting, something I'm very much looking forward to. I mean, an intriguing shot of the Master here, who seems to have the Doctor trapped in some sort of I don't know, kind of holding cage or something like that um, for whatever reason. He certainly looks like he's enjoying life. I'll be very intrigued to see kind of what the Master's role is in, in, in all of this story, whether he's very much just kind of like almost the narrator telling the Doctor all about what really happened with the Time Lords in the past, or whether it's all part of some evil plan he's got, um, or, or whether he's just celebrating the fact he's been able to destroy Gallifrey. I don't know. There just seems like so many intriguing possibilities that we could see with the Master in this episode. And so we move away from Gallifrey for a part of this trailer where we see the Cybermen. Presumably this is just... Like 
like as the cliffhanger was happening really it looks like they're storming through the same doors they were just before the cliffhanger to try and kill well ryan um yaz and graham among other people um a shot here of the cyber ship that is containing all the cyber warriors which looks like it's trying to head through the boundary to well i guess gallifrey presumably is the idea certainly the implication in the next time trailer when when um the lone cyberman says let's go to gallifrey um i imagine that's what we're seeing here is is this ship is going to break through and head all the way into the bound through the boundary and into gallifrey which would be quite amazing to see and then here just another nice shot of the lone cyberman not really giving anything away it looks like he's just on the same cyber ship but still very cool to see now we've got an interesting shot here of cybermen which look like they are down on <clears throat> Well, some sort of ground land. We've got Ryan in the side of the shot there, who we then see a close-up of in the next shot, looking rather worried about life. Some sort of headset on as well, which I guess means he's kind of communicating with somebody else while trying to hold off the Cybermen, probably. I know I saw some people saying, is it the death zone on Gallifrey? Unfortunately, I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure they are just storming up to the boundary to try and break through um, on foot as well as with their ship through the sky, I think is probably the idea. And I think we'll see um, both Ryan and Ko Sharma's kind of trying to hold them off, basically. And I think there's a few more shots of that coming up, but I think that's probably the idea we're going to get with this episode. So we get another shot of these storming Cybermen, which doesn't really show us anything, but it's still quite interesting. And then we see the shot of both Ryan, um, Graham and Yan who have clearly survived the cliffhanger somehow don't ask me how but they have um and looking rather unhappy about life i think it's fair to say i'm really really intrigued to see where they take the story with graham and yaz in in this next episode are they going to survive are they going to make it out alive i really don't know we go through these next few shots and we get what looks like a very unhappy doctor um as the master snaps his fingers at her presumably in a exciting moment maybe he's trying to get into a flashback i don't know it's just a good moment for a trailer really more than anything else um a nice shot of uh, the master's eyes close up as well because i guess we're going to go inside his mind or see into the flat into his past or something maybe that's thinking a little bit too deep about it i don't know um a cool shot of jody again looking rather worried about life um probably on gallifrey given the orangey yellowy look in the background maybe in some sort of the cabinet room in Gallifrey or something I don't know maybe we've given those sort of almost looks like seats there I think um with the weird blue lights on I don't think there's like men because they haven't got a head um but I guess you never know um and then this shot here this is a rather mysterious shot because this appears to show Yaz um with a tear with in a very very close-up shot but I can't really work out what the background is around us like one part of me wants to think is it possible that she's inside a Cyberman suit? I don't know. And they've just been able to do a really close-up shot like we saw with Bill in um, World Enough and Time. Maybe, I guess. Um, otherwise, it's certainly not good. But I don't know quite what it is. Is, she, is Graham being killed and that's why she's crying? I don't know. Maybe it's nothing as significant as that. But I guess, well, we'll have to wait and find out. So now we come back to the shots what look like they're just outside the boundary. We can definitely see that more clearly now with those two sort of pole things on the side there. That they that it is the Cybermen approaching the boundary, not approaching or in the death zone or anything like that on Gallifrey. As much as it would be so cool if we did do that. Um, but then we see in the next shot it looks like, as I mentioned earlier, that we've got Ryan and Ko Sharmas with their guns trying to fight off the Cybermen and stop them from reaching um Gallifrey or getting through the boundary to be able to presumably go to Gallifrey I think is the idea um that's kind of worrying for Ryan in particular because I'm like I don't think Ryan with a gun is going to hold off loads and loads of sidemen like that just feels like an unlikely thing that's going to happen so I feel like things could go really quite badly for him um this shot shows what looks like it's straight after the cliffhanger um is being resolved because we can see the Cyberman on the left hand side with his gun walking into where Graham and Yaz and and some of the other humans were sort of holding out in the cyber ship kind of control room um i think that person in the screen there i can't remember her name because she wasn't a very significant character but i'm sure she probably dies um but i think a little bit later in the trailer we get maybe a little bit of a spoiler which shows how ryan um graham but how graham and yaz escape so this shot shows um a shot of the lone cyberman i'm not sure quite where it is um maybe it's on gallifrey because we have seen from one of the promotional photos released that showed the lone cyberman stood at least in front of the seal of rassilon which certainly suggests that it would be set on gallifrey um and that the cybermen and particularly the lone cyberman will make it to Gallifrey which is something very very ex exciting a prospect um, then we get the shot of the master again presumably on Gallifrey um, in the destroyed ruins holding I have no idea what that device is um, in his hand if you have any ideas thoughts tell me I don't think it's the tissue compression eliminator it looks too big to be that maybe I'm just getting mixed up and it is and it is actually that but I feel like it looks a little bit too big to be that but if you do know let me know down in the comments below I'd love to love to have your theories on what that might be um, that's then followed by this this sort of almost black and white shot, this really coolly coloured and graded shot that's pretty much completely washed out except for the Doctor and her hair, frankly, that you can see the blonde hair, you can just about make out the grey and that's literally in this sea of grey and darkness, um, which also, as I know some people have noted, is the set, is was where during the 
um, reveal trailer before Jodie was announced. There was a, a trailer showing sort of the key or the number 13 in loads of different places. And this little sort of shrine thing in the middle there was um, where the key was placed in one of the shots, which is just quite a cool callback to um, to that to that announcement trailer. But certainly this looks like the, the sort of big face off between the Doctor and the Master where all the secrets are revealed or something along those lines, I think. And in that same scene, we have this, this um, shot here showing what looks like the Doctor really pushing the Master kind of presumably out of anger and frustration um, at him for whatever he's done or whatever she's finding out um we've certainly seen the doctor i feel like lose her temper a little bit more more recently and so i feel like that may come out even more in this particular episode where she completely loses it at the master which would certainly be something i'd be really excited to see i just i just feel like this episode is going to be such a strong one for jodie's doctor i really feel like this may be her best performance yet and that it just gives her so much to work within this episode as well that i think we could get some really exciting things from it now as we approach the final few shots of the trailer um as i mentioned this is one that i'm not necessarily as a spoiler but looks a little bit like it's showing us the resolution to the cliffhanger for Ryan, um, for, oh, for, not for Ryan, apologies, I keep saying that, I'm just so used to saying Ryan and Yaz, and it's not Ryan and Yaz, it's Graham and Yaz, um, who we see there are s escaping out sort of some sort of cooling duct or, or vent or something, kind of a classic Doctor Who thing, let's crawl through the duct or vent or something like that, which is kind of an easy cop-out way of getting through the cliffhanger, I guess, but it, at least um, they are going to escape that and at least survive that part of the episode, even if they don't make it all the way to the end, that is. And so just concluding the final few shots, we see another nice action shot of the Cybermen who are storming through, ready to kill some more people, probably. We see Jodie's Doctor looking in serious pain and anguish, presumably either getting memories kind of put back into her head, maybe that she's lost or have been mind wiped in the past, possibly, and that's why she's kind of struggling with this, or just accepting the reality that of what really happened when the formation of Gallifrey or her personal history or something, whatever we're going to tackle in this episode, I feel like it's going to take quite a major toll on her. Uh, we also see Ryan looking rather sort of screaming at something, looking rather worried. Um, and then there, what looks like the reverse shot of that is two Cybermen stood right in front of him. I struggle to see how Ryan's going to survive all of this, fighting a load of Cyberman with one old man and nothing else, no other help, unless Koshamas is secretly Rassilon or something ridiculous like that. Um, I struggle to see how he's really going to escape this part of the episode, but I guess we will have to wait and see and find out on Sunday. So there we go. That is my breakdown of the trailer for The Timeless Children. Um, there was a lot of exciting things throughout that trailer. I think it's fair to say a lot of, a lot of major things are going to happen. I really think this episode is going to be finally doing what they said and be game changing by really changing the lore of the past of Gallifrey or the Doctor or the Master, how the Timeless Child comes into everything. I really think we are going to go deep and really tackle that properly. I'm part of me slightly worried that there's this episode, there's only one episode, it's like 65 minutes long. How are we actually going to cover all of this in just that amount of time? You've still got the whole Cyberman, Lone Cyberman plot line. You've got Gallifrey, the Master, the Doctor... Um, the Timeless Child, presumably Ruth, I really hope the Ruth Doctor turns up at some point, I feel like it'd be weird if she didn't turn up at all because she was such a significant moment and reveal to then ignore her for the rest of the series would seem kind of weird to me, so I guess we'll have, I'm sure they're just hiding it from the promotion because it's going to be a big deal, but um, I'm intrigued to see how that all ultimately plays out. So yes, overall there's just so many possibilities and um, things that could happen this episode that I'm so, so excited for, I cannot wait for Sunday to be able to finally enjoy this episode. Do let me know down in the comments below what are your theories, have you got any thoughts on any of the images you saw that I haven't mentioned and um, within the trailer or just what are your general thoughts and theories ahead of the timeless children but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as always hit that like button that subscribe button if you're new here and I'll see you again for another video goodbye